Hey everybody, welcome back to the live stream. I was like doing a last minute like stretch because I got a, let's see, let's get the start stream here for the Instagram one. Unfortunately, couldn't figure out how to get audio on both YouTube as well as Instagram at the same time. So unfortunately, that's just not gonna work this time. But I did get picture over there, so if anybody wanted to go watch it on Instagram, then it is live on Instagram as well. I don't think let's see I don't know how laggy it is if I'm being completely honest this is all up in the air I only put the video on there just to see how it's gonna be so if I go actually go check it right now how bad is this gonna be it's obviously you know if it's if it's really bad quality then I might just oh, I mean the video is playing back yeah video is playing back just fine um, so I guess we'll see. I don't think there's any audio on there as far as I know. I know I put music on there, so at least the streaming of the music will be on there. But the, uh, the video itself is on there as well as the music, but not anything else. So, um, yeah, let's see. Okay, great. Let me get all set up here. Anyways, thanks for joining again, guys, on a nice Friday afternoon. Uh, we'll be making a brand new image starting from scratch and I'll show you that here in a second um, as we get everything launched. Um, we're going to be starting a brand new image. I thought it would be appropriate for a September time frame to do something getting into kind of that spooky realm. Not quite uh, scary, but uh, you know we're going to go with a graveyard today. So let's, let's jump on over and let me show you. This is the image that I found here. Uh, credit was, oh actually I guess I don't exactly no um it was a photo i found on instagram under like nature photography and i thought it was a, a really nice looking photo so i thought hey let's try something a little bit spooky um you know in in kind of that in that realm of of area so this is what we'll be creating today and uh, we'll be starting from scratch this brand new render we'll see what how far we get we'll go for about two hours or so um hopefully we can get everything done today uh, it's, it is a decently large undertaking because we'll be creating everything from scratch from uh, this building here to uh, all the grass and the trees and the mountains and everything like that. I think I'm going to avoid creating any of these background buildings because uh, it just seems like quite a bit of work to do all the creation of that. And I think there's also some cars over here. But I will create the main part of this building here, you know, this uh, kind of like stairs as well as the back building here um and yeah so let's go ahead and get started without further ado um of course we'll be doing this in blender and if you guys want to follow along and work on a different software then by all means do it in whatever software you feel comfortable in uh, you can use ms paint i mean hey uh ai stuff nowadays you can pretty much paint in anything and it'll turn it into whatever <laughs> you want it to be so um, I'm actually going to take off my watch here because it actually bugs me to have that on this, uh, this desk. But uh, how does the, the sound sound? Uh, ben, I know you're in the chat. How's it going? Welcome, welcome. Um, do I sound okay? I always, I'm always curious because it's one of those, like I can see visually what I look like and I can know exactly, you know, all of the visual aspects of stuff. Uh, but as far as sound is concerned, I basically can just see levels. And I don't know if I'm talking too loud, it's clipping quite a bit, so I don't know if I should be concerned about that or not, but, um, you know, in the end of the day, it is what it is. Like, uh, when you got, like, 100 subscribers, like, <laughs> we ain't pushing, like, the CNN budget here on making content. So, uh, let's go ahead and get, uh, get started here. I'm gonna start by just setting up the camera properly. Um... I always find that using the uh, cursor to kind of dictate the rotation of everything is the easiest method. Um, firstly, actually, it's, it's it's pretty easy. If I if I just go to this view here and then set the camera, I'm, I'm gonna start just by that. And... There we go. 
trying to think. It's like I don't use um, F Spy or anything like that when I'm working on um, these, uh, like setting the camera up. I kind of just eyeball it. I know that like using F Spy is probably pretty preferred, especially because you'll get like the actual depth and everything like that. Let's see. I'm gonna move up a little bit. We're just gonna rotate this, kind of match the, following like the lines, the perspective lines, just to see how far it goes off into the distance, and uh, kind of get that to work. Um, yeah. Okay. Great. So now uh, I got the cube. Let's go ahead and delete that. I got my origin set up, and let's let's just scale this guy up. Basically, just kind of gonna do our blocking. We do this every week, guys. Just doing our block in. Just doing our block in. I'm gonna actually uh, set my cursor there. And something I didn't do earlier is I'm gonna set my viewport display to. Um, if you could set this through pass through, we can actually just make it so that way. It's a little easier to see where the camera ends and where the camera begins on uh, that setup. So let's go ahead and do that. And then the only other thing I wanna do, yeah, we're already in cycles. Great. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and add in a cube here. We'll scale that down. Just gonna kind of create some of these crosses sticking out of the ground. Using uh, face selection, we can actually just grab that and go up a little bit. I'm gonna make these a little thinner as well. Like that should work, and then we'll be using uh, loop cuts here just to kind of get that for the top and the whoa. Right, I think I just screwed that up. Let's go ahead and do loop cut again, and there we go. Again, just grab the faces. Should actually just go straight out, shouldn't it not? Yeah, there we go. Just gonna kinda like line this up. That's wild. Actually, we're gonna start this over because I think I, I think I fucked it up. Okay, great, there we go. I'm gonna create everything kind of just like, um, just straight face up first, and then we can create uh, that and that. Okay, now we can go in and actually rotate it to be the angle we need it to be. There we go. I'm just matching it. Again, we never make these things one for one, so. Um, okay, great. Uh, I think I want to, uh, before we move, well, I guess each one's gonna be individual anyways, so I don't really have to worry too much about that, but if we go into here, we'll just hit unwrap, make sure, uh, or actually, I guess, cube projection. Let's go ahead and we're gonna duplicate this guy. Move it over about right there. And we're gonna use median points. That way it's just rotating around on this particular part of the object. Okay. Again, just lining that up. We actually might want to match that a little bit better Just, there we go and again not all of these were created the same so we can Stretch these out. 
I think the other thing is I uh, probably need to flatten it as well. And let's like look at this photo, this real quick. So yeah, if we do that. Something like that should be fine. Let's go ahead and now go ahead and duplicate it for the other one. I think also we could take this and then just rotate it down. Ooh. Okay, and then again, we'll duplicate that, move that back. Just kind of matching. These are all honestly like very different sizes. So, uh, let's go ahead and grab these edges here. And we'll grab these edges over here. Bring that down as well. Perfect. This does make it a little bit easier because we are just matching an image, so. Oh, whoops. I think it's that low. Damn. I'll ring that up as well. I was a little hesitant to um, just start duplicating the crosses throughout because, uh, you know, it's. Um, we haven't started texturing those yet, but I think for blocking purposes, we kind of need this. Um, I'm gonna add this way back there. Let's add in just a cylinder. Wow, that worked tremendously. And then we'll select the top of this next. <clears throat> Probably just extrude it. Out, and then we'll let's just go up on that as well. Okay, fantastic. And then uh, we can actually just start adding in some more of the uh, these guys. Probably do something like this. Just put it back there. Probably go into here. Um, I'm gonna extrude this and just kind of like scale it out. And it's weird because this actually, whoops, uh, it's weird because this actually looks more like a cube at the top here rather than a cylinder, which it probably is. So we can, I mean, we could do that. We could totally do that. All right. 
I don't know that it is. But also, I don't know that it isn't. <laughs> it's basically just a cube on a cylinder. All right, let's grab the top of this face. If we just extrude it, scale it out, that'll actually give us the exact thing we need. Again, scale it up. Get like roughly the same height. And they got a little cross at the top. Take that, scale it down. Probably go to like something like that. I think roughly let's keep it like that. Okay. You know what's interesting? I let's extrude. There's a way to do this. I'm fairly certain. I think it's like if you press, there's like a way to extrude along normals. Yeah, there we go. Saw a YouTube video on it, or like a Instagram like a random reel. I was like, no freaking way! I've used Blender for 15 years. I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> okay, let's get this arch in here. It's like every now and then you just like find out something random, and you're like, Jesus! Now you can do that. We're scaling this guy in. I'm gonna keep it centered. I know it doesn't match my uh, thing over here, but at the end of the day, I'm just gonna have a little creative freedom, huh? Let's do that to about right here. Let's take this, and we're just gonna hide that for a moment. Take that, scale that out slightly, and we're gonna do the same for right above it. Scale that out slightly. And that's just gonna give us kind of like this pretty nice shape that if I grab and move like that, should be able to Okay, if I actually just extrude it. And then select all these faces. And we're just gonna extrude through. Great. Now, um, yes, so basically I will be starting with the negative space first, but uh, what I'm gonna do right now is if I then take that face and then create it its own thing, and select this cube here, go into our modifiers and add in a boolean modifier, not a bevel. Our boolean. I really do wish that maybe I'll have to code this myself because I've been waiting for this feature to happen on Blender, but it's never happened. I want, uh, whenever I type it, just to make this list smaller, uh, closer to what I want. So if I type B, then all the B modifiers will pop up. Um, but right now, it's like if I press B, then boolean or, or bevel happens and it's like, it's like I don't want that I want boolean. So now if I take that should work that's gonna give me my uh, my cutout and then actually before I delete that I'm gonna rotate that on the z-axis 90 degrees so it's gonna go through on the other side and then again if I go into here select boolean and then select our same shape that we did I'll apply that now 
I'm gonna have this really nice like kind of like tower effect that's happening and it was pretty easy the only thing you really had to do was add a cube and then create the the negative space and boolean it out um, but that gives us our our top of our tower that we have going on Yeah, I mean, most programs do allow you to start typing. If I open up Nuke right now, it would do the same thing. I would like start typing and then all of a sudden all my nodes would, you know, kind of like get featured that way. I, I it's, 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 it's always surprising to me, but you know, at the same time, if you think about it from the developer's perspective, they know what all the shortcuts are. So they're not expecting people to not have that exactly memorized. And well, I don't have it memorized, so. It is what it is at this point. All right, let's 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 continue back here with the back uh, of building of this section. I'm gonna just kind of line this up. Again, we're just gonna use primitives to kind of get our general shape down first before we do anything else. Um, I do actually need this to be further back to something like here. I need, yeah, it's still connected, so we're good. Um, and we don't see it on this side of the window, so I'm not, too worried about that it's mostly this corner here that we do need to uh, make sure it lines up okay the only thing we do know about this other edge of the wall is that it goes to about here you can kind of see that by the lip that's happening on the overall um, top of the face so bring that down we're just gonna kind of extrude our edges again Scale that out, extrude, scale that there. And we're just gonna go all the way to the top with it. So, again, just kind of scale that down. Grab Z. That kind of works. We'll buy our texturing and stuff. Our primitives will take better shape than um, us trying to model it by hand. So I'm not too worried about that right now. Okay, that pretty much handles that. I'm going to actually just uh, take this house. Or let's just add another cube in. I was gonna just make my work a little bit easier and not have to worry about that. But what we're gonna do right, oops. What we're gonna do right now is we're just gonna bring this back here. I do need to make sure my camera, um, it's view distance. So if we go to camera settings, and if we go to our viewport display, where's that at? I think it's end. We're dealing with a pretty big scene, so I'm gonna set that to be a little bit larger. Okay. Get the cube back there, kind of like lined up. Again, just kind of approximating my uh, location that's gonna be. I try to keep my normals facing in the object mode, the direction that I'm always gonna be wanting to extrude them. It makes it a little bit easier to model everything. Just extrude there upwards to about the top of the house and just bring that in it'll roughly get us what we want we can add all our windows and stuff in after the fact as i said we're gonna avoid doing like all of the different houses in the background i kind of just wanted the main part of the image to be completed um, which looks like we are succeeding in doing so. So, uh, the only other thing, just to cut down on render time, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna just scale everything. You can see I'm kind of doing this based off of the edges of where these vertices are happening. I don't want to, uh, I don't wanna do a part of the uh, map that we're not gonna see, so. And again, I'm just going to lower this to about where the image ends, which is where the camera is here. Uh, like if this is a video game or a movie, you'll probably want to do more um, modeling, but for me, my purposes, things kind of just going to line up here, so. Let's 
do it this way, then scale up a little bit. And that is the field of view of the camera. It's basically from that point to the end there. Um, and as you can see, it still looks like we have ground everywhere, even though it's not that much. The reason I did that is because we're going to be adding a bunch of rocks and leaves and grass and stuff. And I, I don't want to add any extras that I'm not going to be seeing uh, because it'll just make it uh, more taxing on the system to do so. So I'm going to grab this by Y. If we make this a little further away, I'm going to scale that up just so that way get a little bit further distance. Might even go a little bit farther. That way I'm not running into any issues in the future. All right, perfect. Um, well, I'll go ahead and save that. Time to hit the save button, everybody. You know, uh, if you haven't already, hit that save button before you lose it. I'm going to, next up, we're gonna add in another mesh. Uh, we'll do a landscape, uh, just a typical blender landscape. Um, there are a couple presets in here. I, I haven't messed around too much with this, so since I got a little bit of time today, let's let's screw around with it a little bit. So they've got some operator presets here. I'm probably gonna go with let's try a large terrain. No. A cliff. That's cool. Not for me, but that's pretty cool. Billows, lakes, mounds, mountain one. Oh, that's pretty damn close to what I need it to be. Perfect. Scale that guy up. Because mountains are big. I'm just going to move that back here. Okay. This kind of works for me. I'm gonna have to set my view distance to allow me to see pretty far away. So we'll just go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, next up, uh, if we actually take this and then go into sculpt mode, customize it a little bit better. I do like how the feeling of this mountain is. So I, I'm going to probably uh, follow that pretty genuinely so I'm just gonna use the grab tool and we're just gonna kind of move everything up just kind of matching the overall kind of feel of the mountain okay great That'll give us the the generic kind of shape that we're going for. And then we're gonna actually add in another mountain here for the one in the background. Let's check this guy out. I don't know what any of this means. Crystal, I would in dunes. Oh, that's pretty cool. I hope for making a movie about dune. I wonder, do you think they used that? No, they didn't. I'm joking. They did. They totally didn't, guys. They didn't use the Dune operator inside of Blender in order to create the movie Dune. It's not how the VFX were done. <laughs> Imagine, though. All right. Mountain 2. Let's go back to Mountain 1. Let's see. The depth to be higher. Let's see. Do, 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 do. No effect type. Basically, just want. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so then if we do this, work fine, I guess. Just have to scale it up again. even bigger this time because it's a bigger mountain. Big boy mountain. And we'll go back into our sculpt tool here and 
just kind of set up the shape as that as well. So. Great. Now we kind of got like the overall kind of blocking done. We can start adding in some details like the um, like the fence postings and things like that. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, oh, I just realized I never ch actually changed the name of my my stream. That's hilarious. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? Heartbeat says it's okay. All right, fantastic. Thank you. Oh, I, yeah, you can't change it after you're broadcasting. Oh well. It is what it is. Okay, gotcha. So we're gonna start adding in some uh, some details here. I think if I go look at this, uh, we've got a uh, hide. Alt H. Cause I don't want. I don't want my camera to hide. There we go. Um, yeah, let's, let's add in a fence post and very easily work on. There's actually a couple ways for us to do this. If I do, um, if I do the, uh, kind of via like 2d image, that actually might be crazy. I don't think I really want to do that though. Uh, not for this purpose, since we're doing everything in 3D, I kind of want to keep it that way. Scale that guy down. And overall, we're just going to bring you up. What a picket, like it's just like a picket fence with like a kind of like a top to it. Is that basically what we're gonna do here? Um, and then the only other thing would be to add a cube in. Not a cube in, we're gonna add a cube in. Make that a little thinner and let's duplicate that down as well. Okay, we're gonna add in an array. These things are closer to each other. Since we're working with arrays, which is pretty easy, you just duplicate them. Go off a little bit and crease that till we get to the edge of the, uh, the house. Bring everything back in. It's kind of where we want it to be. Actually, may want to like rotate this and yeah. Go to the edge of the house like that. Love how the house is floating. That makes sense. Let's fix that like right now. Get that saved. Okay. Um, bring that down as well. The only thing I can think of is if we take this now and we duplicate it over here.
Just kind of adding detail for free at this point. It's just, you know, little things. Um, we can also, uh, using uh, like Botanic or something like that, uh, we can add in some layers on the leaves. So let's do that. We'll go to our scatter node. This is what I couldn't figure out how to do last week. So, we, ooh, drop. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. That's pretty cool. Um, we're going to first add in kind of just some grass, a little bit of wild grass if they have any. So I want lawn grass with flowers, with flowers, maybe with leaves, I think. Why don't they have any like... See how much they do here. All right, for now, we'll do it this way. I think whoa laggy mcbag okay that's wild all right so what we're gonna do is is we're actually going to uh scale these up i think a little bit larger let's try twice as large Okay, that works. And then for our number here, let's half it. Maybe even a little bit less than that. If we do 2000, what does that look like? Okay, yeah, that's fine. I'm fine with it being a little bit more like sparse because we'll be having different types of grass as well. So, okay, well, okay. We'll layer on top of that, that's grass with leaves. Let's let's go in here and find some rocks. I don't want coastal rocks. What is... Let's see it, let's see what it looks like. Definitely not that many. Holy crap. Go down to 100, how about that? And down to two. We do that. Oh, is this rocks? <laughs> you can't start with a let a zero. That's better. That works for me. Okay, and then we're gonna go in and we'll add in some weeds. Some weed, actually, specifically. We're not adding in weeds, we're adding in weed. Uh, ooh, dandelions, alpine meadow. Like alpine meadow, can we do that? Change the scale again to like something like two. And then we'll change the uh, emission amount of it down to like 2000 Does that work we change the seeds as well that's kind of just adding in some dandelions throughout I think 6000 is a little bit better let's add another one on top of this some more weed get some of that tall weeds we like tall weeds and we'll lessen that to probably like 10,000 ish. Have we even seen it at this point? Well, so the scale is probably also incorrect. So let's set the scale to, whoa, not that large. Set to like two, something like that. And then go with our different seed. Again, how much are we talking here? Like, this is like deader. So, uh, we may want to. Well, I guess it all kind of depends. Um, other thing I could start doing right now is if we go into our atmosphere, adding our other favorite add-on that we guys that we use guys is physical 
Physical atmosphere. What does that give us? Oh, yeah, screw that. Uh, get rid of the light that we have in here. And then it's going with... Um, It's already looking good, honestly. Holy crap. Who knew that scatter was such a cheat code for getting um, getting your stuff just like to automatically, you know, propagate? Uh, okay, what do you guys think? How you, what you thinking about this? Is this, is this on the right track? Um, I don't like the lighting as much. I think the fact that it's like it's this like weird sunset, whereas it shouldn't be. Um, probably. Let me the side here. The other thing is I can kind of see like where it's going. So let's try something that's more like a sunrise. I'm like looking at this light right here by the way for everybody wondering. And then And then I'm just going to rotate this all the way around. So that way, this one is coming from somewhat behind. Buttons. Really going for like that kind of like non direct lighting. Also, here's the trick. It's to get really interesting lighting. I like the way the shadows are here. I think it's more the, the lighting is definitely more visible. So I might go in and we'll adjust the vertical and just push that down a little bit. Get a little bit like more like 10. Wowza, that's bright as hell. We're definitely not going with that. Um, just back off on that a little bit. Trying to get that like kind of coming through the mountains look, you know? way it feels more oh okay there we go we're, we're getting something here that's more like in the vein of what i want with the shadows coming really deep it does feel more morning than it does feel like uh anything else i think if we increase the density slightly let's try that and see kind of like where we're going with it i think also if we change the All the way on the max. Just gonna bring that down, and then the cloud also. If we bring those in, that might actually give us some more like cloud cover. I don't want to feel so warm and happy. I'm not happy around here. I want to feel more desolate. It's scary. Which, by the way, we could also do. Kind of in the um, 
Um, you could do it more so in kind of the uh, the realm of grading and fixing that. Post, but if we can, I'd like to try to do that here as much as possible. Okay. And the temperature here, if we actually lower the temperature, we're going to get kind of like more of like a warm feeling. Kind of feel more like autumn. Yeah, well, I'm working on it, Ben, okay? I got I to gotta make it uh, kind of more like, a, like almost like Halloween autumn like midsummer's bright okay like i feel like uh, do i get a little leeway there midsummer's bright the entire film <laughs> that's not that that's not that bad uh you're right we could probably make it a little bit darker get what we need out of it i think i'm trying to go for kind of like that weird like sunset like off tone that you're gonna get where it's like oh my god like it's almost like a little, little scary i think like even this is much better the sun doesn't feel out on it um and i think i could push it in the grade because the grade is very contrast like with what we've got here their sky is definitely blown out as well Okay, uh, with that being said, though, I actually, I'm a huge fan of this. I, like, this is better, right? Like, uh, it's definitely closer to that kind of, like, off-putting feel. I think. That's my problem, is I think a little too much about these things. So. Uh, let's see. I'm going to actually take this. I'm going to take this fence post thing here and just have the array go off. Now we don't have to worry. It's just gone forever. Gone forever. Never to, never shall we return. By the way, hit that like button on the video if you guys haven't already. And uh, that'll help boost it to the other potential audiences out there in the world. Uh, next, up, I'm going to uh, select this mountain back here, and we're going to use the same kind of scatter node on it to try to uh, add some trees in there. So, without crashing, hopefully. Okay. Uh, under the scatter node, we'll select it with the mountain selected. We can start by selecting, let's say, uh, oh, can I not add trees on the scatter node? That is wild. I thought you could. That's crazy. Miscellaneous. They need to fix that. So I, I can do like a desert floor, but I can't do. Can I add trees in? Okay. We'll do it by Alfox. I think it's like I could do this kind of like in a way. Uh... <laughs> That's insane. Oh, I just realized my stream's crashing. Yeah, that's, uh, we, we don't do that here. Let's, uh, crash this. Well, guys, 
the, the, the whole the whole system's going down. That's the way we like it around here is to crash the entire entire computer. And and, and mind you, this is a ten thousand dollar computer. <laughs> it is not it's not a cheap computer. <laughs> That's insane. Okay, one second. All right, we're 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 fixing this. We're fixing this. Okay. I know. I know. I make a lot of promises sometimes, but uh, you know we're, we're gonna fix it here. Okay. One second. Still frozen? Come on. Disable the rocks. You are the benchmark. <laughs> Yeah, we, we don't do anything light around here, okay? We go crazy. <laughs> yeah, uh, so we found out, by the way, uh, what the limitation is on this plugin with adding in rocks. <laughs> we did it, boys. We did it. It added, okay, so that added 100,000. It's another 100,000. And another 100,000. So it added. 300,000 which exceeded the uh, the number that they recommended so no more just so you guys know no more than 300,000 that that's too much holy crap okay so no more uh, <laughs> we're not doing that again <laughs> I forget what the number said down in the log I almost uh, was the window I want to pull that up holy crap uh, toggle system console. Yeah, look at this number, guys. Three one five one five. Wait, 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 wait a second. Five thousand. Wow, that's at. Wait, 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 wait. Thirty one million five hundred and fifteen thousand six hundred and fifty eight. What? 31,515,658 guys. So yeah, uh, no, the, um, just so you guys know, just wanted to let you know, uh, you, you can't do 31,515,658 rocks because that'll blow your computer up. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, I clicked on the mountain. So my plugin, you click on an object and then you say, it. And these massive mountains back here, it, it put rocks all over the entire surface of the mountain. Um, so, with that being said, don't do that. That's that's a uh, it's a warning. I'm gonna turn this off on the renders as well. Actually, if I go up, I can actually just minus them completely from the whole existence because we're not gonna use those at all. Uh, okay. Yeah, we're not using those at all, but I can also go back here. Let's see. If we go to material view, we got base soil. We're going to just. Can I use base? Yeah, base soil, rough BMP. That's 003. So we'll select the same one. Save. Don't forget the save. Um, okay, uh, let's let's go in here and add some details to you know some of the stuff going on. We, we you know we have blocking finished, but you know we've got a good amount of detail to add in here. Let's add our tree also. I think that'll be good for us. You know, I, you know it might make me a little bit happier about crashing my computer. I didn't really crash it though. Be honest, it, you know, it almost crashed. Could have been much worse. We'll get into uh, adding in. Okay, we'll, we'll we'll get into adding in the um, the trees on the mountain in the back momentarily. But for right now, we're gonna find a tree that looks like that. What are we thinking here? Any of these autumn colored ones? Pretty close. I, I think I like this one. Um, I 
That one maybe. I think though, maybe one of the first ones. If we go to the top here, I, I do like this one. So, select that, add that in. Not quite as big as I need you to be, so we're gonna scale you up. Ah, it's not the right shape. You can actually technically combine trees also. I need to feel more pointy. Are there any pointy trees in here? My tree library is lacking. Oh, those are beautiful. Very pretty, very pretty. Not quite what I want, but very pretty. I also kind of just wish I knew what tree uh, it actually is. Actually, it's like more more than my ignorant self, where I'm just like, oh yeah, it's it's um, it's the the amber looking one. Do that and move that forward. That's good. I think for our purposes, ooh, select that guy. Scale, ooh. If we scale it up slightly. Cool. Julio, um, we're gonna also add some more trees in back here. Do something like the Acer that we didn't like. Just make it a, a floating tree, cause you know, that makes sense. Just gonna kinda try to fill in this horizon. A little bit. Little by little. Uh, how about a dead tree, huh? We like dead trees. I mean, we don't like dead trees, but... They, are, they certainly help with the realism factor. I think also we'll just add, well, let's say, this kind of a dead tree all the way back here. Again, we're not going for the floating tree vibe. I know that's a thing, but like, come on, man. Just like more of that one. And kind of move that over. Perfect. Perf perfect. Okay. Not exactly what we needed, but uh, a little bit better. Okay. We can start dealing with like this uh, massive mountain that we've got going on here. Uh, we're going to have to put trees on it because guess what? We're going to have to. Um, we might, uh, Chad will be swinging by. In it. He's coming here? Did you tell him my address? That's creepy. Which I mean, I should lock the door. Um, <laughs> uh, you never know. Like those things... So, so we're gonna add some hair. I, I think I have a trick for this. We're gonna, first of all, I'm gonna add in some trees. Uh, let's go ahead and first add in a... <laughs> uh, okay, technically, yes. But also, maybe not. Who, you know, like, you never know what kind of visitors you might get. So like, in the end of the day, it might actually be, you know. It's for the content, okay? We're doing it for the content. <laughs> Is that something Chad says? It says for the content. 
Um, okay, we're gonna, let's see, add camera to this. I'm just gonna do some bookkeeping and organization here. Um, so, add another collection here for, uh, we've got the house, okay? We'll select all of our cubes and stuff we used for the house. So we probably have to start shading this stuff here pretty soon. Um, don't want to be streaming all night. Oh my god. So if we select the fence and everything like that, we can actually just drag that up here, put that inside of our house collection. Um, our other stuff we have, where is this located? Oh, right. Um, we have all of these crosses add another collection called uh, tombstones yes for the memes for the memes and then let's see okay and then and then I will add one more collection called uh, layout now this will make it so that everything is a little bit more organized and doesn't look like I don't know what I'm doing which I swear I do like I've only done this a couple times now but I would say I'm, I'm, I'm a pretty good pro at this point um, let's go ahead we're gonna find how, how do I want to do this if I, I, guess I put it right here okay so for the uh, go to texture haven find some textures for the kind of like these uh, crosses okay so the full screen here we're gonna find some wood basically that's what we need what kind are we gonna do like rough wood something like that oh yeah I get yeah, it's pretty weathered it's almost like bark ish not really I really love this wood peeling. I, I've downloaded that one like eight times now. Uh, love that texture. We need something that looks a little weathered, but we always make stuff look a little bit more weathered also. So I'm not too concerned about it. Probably, probably gonna go with the wood painting. Look, I can succumb to the the wood painting. I need it, need it in my life. Fine, today is 8th of September, right? Yeah. The effects materials and textures. I actually organized myself into folders today. You guys will be so proud of me. Instead of me trying to find everything in my downloads folder, I actually put it in like one unified location. Um, okay, and now we're looking at like a cobblestone kind of effect right here. Oh, this cobblestone looks great. It's just not the right type of cobblestone. Um, oh, I like that. That's like floor cobblestone though, but like that's insanely good, I love it. Okay. Oh, that's good too. Can we, can we use that? Would that be bad? It's like it, we're not matching at that point to the photo. I guess we're going off book. This is probably closer to on book, like this kind of like rustic stone wall. Yeah, we'll use that. Cause I can have vines go up the side of it. That would be really cool. Have vines go up the side of the wall. And then let's see. Also need a good tiling roof texture. Roofing. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> see, they do it for you. I don't even have to model any. It's pretty crazy. Uh, I love this one because it actually has different differentiations to like the the slating. Whoa, dude, thatch roof. Honestly, I like me a good thatch roof. I think we'll go into this guy here to download. Whoa. Okay, and then I think my my graphics are freaking out now.
What, am I having graphics card issues? <laughs> Why would I have graphics card issues? I'm only live streaming to two completely different locations. Which, uh... You know what? I actually don't know that I'm actually streaming to uh, Instagram anymore. I'm going to stop that stream. We'll figure that out next week. So if you guys were hoping for that, uh, well, it's perfect for what, what was I looking at? The thatch roof? Was that the thatch roof? Did I miss my thatch roof, roof opportunity here? <laughs> okay. Um, with this being said, let's let's jump into some texturing here. We got to get going because I, I don't want to be here all night. So I'm going to swap over to a shader editor on this guy and then we'll open up a new material. We'll call this one um, tomb. It's not tomb stone. It's tomb wood. Okay. It's our tomb wood texture. And... Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to fix that mountain back there. Holy cow! Okay. Um, let's see. Let's open up our textures. We've got this kind of like wooden texture here. So let's extract it. Textures and great. So we'll use our diffuse. Wow. Also, I don't like how it makes my light whenever it's because everything is so much darker in this room. And like, it's just like, ah! like neon lighting basically just hitting my face. It's not as bad as it looks on camera, okay? It looks like on camera. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's actually just look to see what what we're dealing with here. Um, it's not bad. I'm gonna add in, whoa add in our uh, texture coordinator mapping situation thing I don't think generate it's gonna work for us what normals absolutely not object absolutely not okay so our beautiful UV projections that we already did gonna work the best so if we select everything we're actually just gonna use smart UV unwrap for this uh, where's that? Smart UV. Oh, that looks like crap. So let's fix that. So you. That looks terrible. I think I was using cube projection earlier. Which honestly gets the job done. I don't like it at all. I like, I really dislike this. Um, that's just not working for me. Yeah, we're gonna get a different texture. Go back over to our wood option. And find ourselves something simpler. I really like this bark one. The stories of the past. Men died in the middle of the fields of glory. Defending their honor. Yeah, man. I can see that being part of this storyline. Okay, we're gonna go back to bark here, find our texture. We could just delete. Got nothing holding me back from doing that. So uh, let's find this bark. Just drop in the diffuse. Displacements, normals, and our roughness. Plug our vector in. And voila. I think that should work. Now if we view this guy. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Okay, great. Um, because that, that'll work better for us. I'm gonna plug in the vectors into all of this. So that way we're using the same mapping. Uh, and then if we take our roughness, we can actually just drag that directly into our roughness. 
Whoa, did you get... No way, I didn't know you could do that. Wow. So if I do this, I can say just normal. Normal, normal? No, no, no. Normal map. Holy crap, guys. I figured out a new feature. What? I didn't know you could do that. That must be a brand new feature. Okay. We're going to go in here. I'll say math. And we're going to say multiply. I'm going to set that to like five. As always. We just boost in the strength of these uh, display maps. What does that look like? Does that actually work? That kind of works. Um, I think also we're going to have to... Uh, I think the trick is going to be... Uh, it looks too straight. Uh, as far as like our, our edges are concerned here. So we're gonna actually need to um, kind of displace those as well in kind of like 3D geometry. Uh, so if I select that, go into edit mode here. I'm just gonna first add in a couple subdivide like modifier of that. And if we do multi-resolution, uh, this will help us. Uh, multi-resolution, local viewport. Set this to three, three, three. Wait, can I not do that? Three? Oh, I have to hit the subdivide button. Simple. Uh, unsubdivide. Okay, I think I have to fix this by doing this simple edge loop fix guys works every time like a charm basically we're creating all of our edges to be like wackadoodle nope that's not working <laughs> okay uh i mean we could also just subdivide i ultimately in the end of the day just need to have enough resolution in here for me to use a displacement uh, map. So if I use displace, 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 where are you at? Displace, there we go, displace. And then we uh, go back to our displacement modifier and we hit new, that'll create a new texture here. Um, you can always rename this to like wood. And we can use our actual roughness uh, or not use that just use clouds and this will give us the ability to like kind of like customize like a actual displacement on the object here i'm gonna hit shade smooth as well and uh again we're just kind of creating a bark effect here and if we go back over here we can adjust the strength of it so that way it's not affecting it too much kind of gives us that like worn kind of feel um and the only other thing is let's go back into our uh render view here while we hit save just want to remind everybody hit that save button what are you doing if you're not hitting save then what are you really doing with your life okay uh, I'm going to select the ground here, and I'm going to turn off the viewport display on all my grass. Because I already know what it looks like, and I don't need all that freaking render time just to see it. Um, next up, if I select my actual... Uh, oh, dude, that sounded like... At first, I thought I heard the Halloween sound, like the music. The da-da-da-da-da-da. I was like, oh... <laughs> Okay, maybe I should close that uh, front door, you know? <laughs> now, we like living life on the edge over here. Okay, we're going to view this curves here. Besides, we're doing it for the memes, the content, all right? I think if we 
just boost our roughness on our object here. Now we go ahead and view that. Oh, that's so much better. Okay, great. Um, this is pretty straightforward now though. So like now that we've got this texture, we can actually just copy paste it basically over to these other uh, textures as well. So we will call this tomb wood. Actually, I'm just gonna add in all the shaders first and then we have to add in the after the fact. We'll get there, don't worry. It's gonna happen one by one, all right? Um, the other thing is I'm using CPU. I wonder if my GPU is faster. Yo, that was so much faster. Why was I living life like that? That was depressing, okay? <laughs> Let's not do that anymore. Um, okay, great. We're going to load this texture. Oh, did I name it correct? Yeah, I did. I named it wood. So now, because we like adding our wood in, okay? We can add our wood in to all of these different guys hello what is going on here okay that's fine add in modifier we're gonna go in here we're gonna hit displace right there and select wood as our texture we're gonna do that for every single oh well okay we also have to do this okay we have to subdivide a crap ton of times Again, we're just trying to match it. Oh, whoops. And shade smooth. Again, subdivide, subdivide. Selecting everything, subdivide, subdivide. Right, one more time. Select everything, subdivide, subdivide. That's probably fine. And then now, uh, if we add in another displace, wood see how i can type w there and it narrows the list down come on blender you work doing one thing but you don't do it on the other displace select like wood shade smooth displace wood shade smooth perfect now, honestly, honestly, like I'd be anything other than honest with you guys. I haven't lied on stream yet, okay? I have a track record of never lying on stream, so uh, not starting now. So just don't ask me any questions. Um, okay. I think we could do got that all handled I'm gonna wow that looks so good no that's just the uh, test runner I love how the hair that we added in we added these massive chunky hairs and it actually works quite well for adding like texture of like a displacement feel like as if we're adding rocks uh, we can do the same thing on this one actually that's not a bad idea use hair who uses hair for rocks we do okay I don't like that attitude 10,000 hairs holy crap so much better at loading oh yeah we're gonna have to set our view display To uh, the much farther distance, it's well, it's um, much farther, much farther. Save that and go to render view. I think this works really well for me, guys. I think we're ready to make the next nun. We're gonna make nun three here, okay? So uh, that's that's the status we're going for. Uh. Turn off the background image because we don't need it. 
anymore. Now if we go into our botanic, I'm going to turn on all of the grass again. I love how we have some like, uh, like uh, daisies. Is this daisies? A daisies down here? Um, <clears throat> this works really well. I'm going to cheat a little, and I'm not cheating, guys. I don't cheat. I'm an honest man. But I'm just duplicating this tree. I know it wasn't in the initial photo, but. There we go. Okay, uh, let's let's do another layer on botanic. All right, all right, we're doing another layer. <clears throat> let's go into here and we're gonna find some sort of miscellaneous fallen leaves. That's crazy. Sure, let's do it. I'm gonna change the scaling to be two. I do want to turn everything off just to see what I'm working with. I love how I just turned everything on. That's crazy. That ain't fallen leaves. What are we working with here? Oh, whoa, well, whoa, well, okay. Grass with leaves. Just one fallen leaves. Let's turn that on. Fallen leaves? And that's still grass. I do think this uh, add on doesn't know what a fallen leaf is. Let's go in here. We're just looking for some more stuff, okay? We're just trying to add. Ooh, I love me some weed. Okay, we're going back into the weed section. Let's find pasture. I like that. Uh, let's do display percentage down to 50%. Ooh, I do like it. I'm gonna change the scale of it though to two. I think my scene is just a little larger. And then we'll change this down to... No, you know what? Let's change this back to like 1.5, split the difference. And then we're gonna change this down to like five, uh, you know, a good amount, 50,000. We're gonna adjust the seed here as well. Kind of just find like a happy medium of, because uh, I know like what the rest is. I'm just imagining it with like the rest of the stuff we already had. Again, we're not trying to crash our system, but you know what? It's maybe an added bonus if we do. Oh, that's hilarious though. Okay, let's go into edit mode on this. I'm just gonna grab this edge here and just extend it a little bit. Where are you? You got here already? Dude, I thought you were all the way over there. You're already here, that's crazy. Welcome, C-dubs. <laughs> Welcome to the party. Where we make, we, we build real art. Okay, this is the real the real art location. Um, right now we're just trying to figure out what to do with my life, you know. Um, mostly just adding in a bunch of leaves down here uh, to kind of like fill in the gaps, make it feel wild, make it feel natural. Um, I'm gonna have to deal with these mountains back here because it looks like crap right now. So 
that's mostly because we don't have any trees in there yet. I'm, I'll, I'll add trees in, okay? Not concerned about it. It's just not my top priority. Uh, let's see. I'm just gonna disable everything because I'm actually pretty happy with all the grass on the ground right now. It's like one of those things where it's like the grass on the ground, it, you know, we'll keep futzing with it, get it where we want it to look. But I think right now it's like we got to finish shading this building because it's already seven o'clock, guys. And, uh, you know, I don't want to be here much longer. All right. Like as much as I love you guys, it's, it's you know, it's a bit of a task. OK, just I, I found that on average, most of my streams are going about like two and a half hours or so, which is not that bad. Not that bad at all. But uh, oh, that's what I forgot to do. I didn't eat dinner. I was like, uh, I knew, because like my first stream that I did, I wasn't expecting it to go for as long as it did, and then it did. And I was like, oh, hello. Um, maybe, maybe I should eat dinner before I start to do all this. Okay, I'm gonna select the bottom faces here. Just kind of creating these like sharp edges on the uh, differentiating faces because I did smooth everything. So, uh, you know, I just want to have a nice angular sides, you know, I know, I remember there is a better way to do that in Blender, but I always just find this, this is the method I always do. Cause back in the day, there wasn't any other features that allowed you to do it in any other way. So now I always kind of just do it the same way. Okay, great. We're going to add in some new shaders because we got to do this building back here. Um, but you can already see over here, everything looks much better, just smoothed out. So that's definitely the best uh, method of doing that. So I'm going to select this bottom face here. Actually, we'll just do everything. Uh, cobble wall. And then we're going to create a new material and we will call this roof. And for the cobble wall, we'll assign that. And then for everything else, we just do select invert and then hit roof assign. Great. Just do the same thing here. We're going to call this cobble wall. And then also on this one, we just alt select everything here. And then first of all, we'll select cobble wall and assign. And then do select invert. And then we will create a new material. We'll just select roof as well. Hit assign. And there you go. Okay, so, and then the only other material we need to make is this one, which will be fence. And that's my name for that guy, fence. You are fence. The back house, I'm not too concerned about right now. The other thing we could do, um, Depending on where the focus really is, are we focusing on the building or the tombstones? What are you guys' thoughts? Building or tombstones? Building or tombstones? Because like in the photo, I have a feel. I think it's the building that's more so in focus, and then like the, all the tombstones are out of focus, which may be more cinematic, honestly. So. Um, or are we we want the tombstones to be in focus here in our story in our truth i'm going to create a new uh empty right now <clears throat> we can always change the location of this later but uh ooh, hello we'll need to move that to our camera location and we will change the name of this to focus and for right now, we'll just set the depth of field to that. Something more like that. It's all about kind of now just getting the kind of positioning of everything to be a little bit better. This is going to be out of focus here. So if I select my camera, 
I want to do like 0.8. This is where it like actually setting the size of your uh, seam to be correct is definitely important. I did not, so I'm just doing going through here and just artistically directing it. My five should be fine. Uh, now uh, with the with all that disabled, I'm going to do my botanic real quick, and we're going to select a tree that we can use. Kind of just trying to find a spot. I think. I think these should work. Due to this tree, we're gonna move you off to the side. What are you called? I'm gonna call you prefab tree. Fantastic. Now on our mountain, if we go to our um, particle system here, we can select the I know I found it last week, so I will find it again. It's not hair shape. It's not even children. It should just be like... Oh, there it is, right? This is it. Show them there. Now, oh, viewport display, render. And if we select not path, but object, then our object, we select prefab tree. That should... Maybe object is incorrect. We have to do collection and then we do prefab tree. Or what do you call tree aculus? That's not gonna work with that size, but if we scale it up, we're now dealing with sideways trees, guys. Sideways trees. Remember I uh, had this issue last week and I didn't figure out the solution. But I wanted to dedicate five minutes today to figuring out why are my trees sideways? Or we don't care because they're off in the distance. Is that like okay for me to say that? Is that fine? Oh, whoops, that's Discord. Am I allowed to say that I don't care? If they're small enough, maybe no one cares. Something like that. And then uh, can add in some children. So I go to children. Interpolation. I want you to interpolate some more trees for me, please. It's gonna fill up the whole side of the ML team to what we want. Oh my god, why do I keep selecting Discord? I don't want you guys to see my Discord. Um Okay, great. I think okay, so the display amount. I want it to be the same as rendered so I can actually see what I'm doing. Oh, maybe a bad idea. Potentially a bad idea. I always have the best ideas, okay? Uh, <laughs> that's to try to crash the computer. Needless to say, the computer is having issues right now, okay? I don't think that was a good idea. It's definitely too many. Ooh, we crashed, ladies and gentlemen! The first crash of the night. The first crash. The first crash. And hopefully the last. Uh, but you know what? We, we don't learn our lessons. <laughs> so we're going to open Blender back up. Uh, but this is always a useful thing to happen. So recover, auto, save. What, what was the last time? 1907? So it was like two minutes ago. That's fine. That's fine. Two minutes isn't that bad? Like, chilling here. Okay, like, last, now we hit save. Okay. Uh, it only was two minutes worth of work. That's, that's like barely anything. 
back in my day, actually, it's funny because like way back in the day, uh, Blender didn't have recover auto saves. It, you just lost everything, and uh, that was kind of the worst. Okay, I think this is good. Um, an easy to cut down on like reconnect it. Let's go. Okay. Uh, the big problem we're having right now is that I'm I'm creating trees around the entire uh, the entire place. Am I still live? Status live. Yes. Okay, great. I saw my phone. Everything kind of like just froze for a second. We're having issues today. Okay, guys. Uh, we're trying to do too big of a scene. Okay, too big. Too big. But we're gonna fix that right now. This is this is an easy way for us to fix it. So if I go into weight paint mode and just go to camera view, I can just you know select everything I see, right? And uh, that's not the back of the building, and it's not these sides because I don't need those locations. Uh, but now if I go back into object mode and under our trees, if we go view our trees now. I can select under the vertex groups, I can select density and I can select group, which is that painted section that I did. But now it's only that and it's not anymore. So uh, let's see, under children, it's still set to none. Actually might be fine with that. If I set the number here to something like 100, but then I go to my children and I turn that on and I say interpolate, now I can actually get some more for free. I'm probably going to do uh, 20 on the 1, and that'll get me back to the number that I was at before, which was oh, 1,000 um, pre-children. 1,000 pre-children. Yeah, that's pretty good. I uh, And I think that'll fill that up pretty nicely here. So just go ahead and hit the Save button again. And our display amount, just hit one on that because we don't need it to see it in our display. We'd rather have faster playback for streaming purposes. Uh, but now, if we do the same thing here, we're going to go into camera view. Go over here to weight paint. Uh, how far away are you though? Like, are you decently close or are you like in a completely different location? Because like... From afar, I mean, like you could you could be all the way over in like China, and like honestly, watching YouTube in China, like yeah, not bad, man, not bad. Uh, actually, I wouldn't know. I've never been, uh, but you can. I, I have a couple friends that've been, so like, <laughs> I know that it's not that bad. Okay, so uh, with this guy selected, our particle system here, you can actually just select our other particle system eight. And then, of course, make sure that under density, we are selecting under group. And that should be good. I believe, if I just make a whole duplicate of it, might, what does this look like with 20? That should be fine. Let's put that to like 50. Yeah. That should be good. So we'll set our render amount to 50, and then of course we'll set that to one. Save. Dude, I hit that save button, so good. Okay, I'm going to start the uh, shading process for this house. Hit the render view on this guy here, and under our materials tab, let's swap back everything to our shader editor and everything. Um, we, can, we can get started on the cobble wall. Cobble wall, cobble wall. Say cobble wall five times really fast. Okay, so we got roof slate, rustic stone. That's the one we need. Just extract that. But thanks V for watching from afar. I appreciate it. Helps me in my time of need, honestly. You know, um, you know the other thing I wish? I know there's a shortcut somewhere and I don't know how to do it, but I just wish that it would auto add. It says roughness in it. Like, add me to the roughness. It says normal. Add me to the normal. Like, why do I have to manually do this? Like, we got AI making movies and film scripts, but we can't freaking, we can't auto connect our stuff inside of Blender. Like, uh, that just seems whack to me, dude. 
Let's set mat multiply on that. We'll set this to like five. Um, <laughs> it's funny, actually. Uh, let's add our math node in here. I, or sorry, mapping node. We'll select that to our vector because we're gonna have to adjust. You can already tell we're gonna have to adjust all of our uh, scaling of everything like that. So let's just connect that to all the vectors. And I like adding a math node and setting one of the values to zero. And if I do that, then I could just scale everything up pretty uniformly. Um, I'm gonna bring that down slightly. Looking at here is trying to get that to work. If we do a cylinder projection. This one right here is fine. What the heck? Okay, so this one's fine here. Oh, I've selected this guy. Okay. I think. Okay, we're gonna have to customize on a per basis. So if I select this guy, I'm gonna hit duplicate on this, and then we're gonna say cobble wall two. It's fine, because then actually we can add some variation to these things later. Uh, <clears throat> If I scale down on our I have to maybe do a smart UV, I think. Is that what's gotta go on here? And the only other thing I can think is I'm gonna do vertical split. Let's do a UV editor. And let's select this right here. I'm going to select all these and rotate them 90 degrees. Just put them down here in the center. Can I just do unwrap? Oh, I see what's going on here. Okay, okay. I'm gonna have to, uh, I may have to mark a scene. That's fine. Actually, never done this, guys. We're about to watch, we're about to witness something that Connor has never done before. So if I do this and I say you and then I say mark scene, if I now select everything here, I say unwrap, that'll give it to me in a straight line. Now, if I go back to camera view, go to render view, um, everything will be sideways, that's, that's fine, because I can go into my UV now and then rotate it 90 degrees. Cool thing about that is, I can now adjust my scaling match a little bit better to that one and our seam is hidden behind the entire thing so uh, we don't have to worry about that seams can get like really complicated which is why I've always tried to avoid them as much as possible um, just because they scare me uh, let's get this we're gonna rotate 90 degrees Go back here. Perfect. Um, okay, great. Once we add the vines in, that's gonna really help break everything up, which will be super awesome. Um, Hey Ben, I don't know if you're still there or not, but did I make you a moderator? I feel like I did, because your name's like in blue and stuff, but I don't know if that was like that one time or not, but uh, you're keeping all the bad guys away, right? Like I'm hoping. Because, uh, 
Okay, let's get this top part uh, done. So, got this whole section up here. Uh, I'm gonna hit, gonna add in roof, I think first, and then we'll add in a new texture called cobble wall. And, Go to edit mode here. Oh, that's right. Okay. Let's just select everything. Wowza, what the heck is going on here? That was wild. Okay. I didn't know I hit anything. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's select everything except for the bottom faces here. Oh, I hate booleans for this reason. And this reason alone, I'm out. Okay, oh whoops. Cobble wall, sign, boom. We should be good with that, right? Oh, why you gotta be so complicated? Do smart UV project please work? That actually low key kind of works. The sides don't, but I can fix that. Guys, I can fix that. Okay, perfect. Uh, then honestly, let's look at the photo again. Is there light coming from inside that? I think there is. Uh, the other thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna add in a bevel, which by the way is B, I figured that out earlier. Um, Okay, now the roof is ready to start roofing. I'm gonna get a roof going here. So if we go to our materials view, let's select roof. There we go. It's material. We had roof slats. Having a lot of issues with uh, the UVs today, aren't we? So because no normally I don't get like UVs that are like directional. I think I just normally get like UVs that are kind of like uh, yeah. Oh my god, guys are gonna have issues. Maybe it's because I just went and extruded everything today, like. Maybe normally I work a little bit more with primitives or something. Um, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Okay, normals go into the normals. If I add a mapping into here, what does generator look like for all these guys? Actually, pretty good for the top one. I think uh, the trick with these gas. Oh, that's right. I'm gonna have to mark a seam. It's fine. It's fine. Right. I don't mind marking seams anymore. I'm like a professional at this. Okay. Just go to the back here and say you mark seam. I literally say you. I go you mark that seam. Uh, let's see. You mark seam. And last one at the very top, you mark seam. Should allow me to just select all of this. Sorry. Um, 
now if I do this, I could say, is, is it smart UV per draft? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Or did I just do a goof? Uh, I already marked the seams. You should just work. Unwrap. Right? I thought I just hit Smart UV last time and that just worked. I'm gonna have to. Oh my god. Okay, so if I select everything here and then I just do cylinder projection or. It's not really doing anything different. Kind of annoying, but it's not. Oh, wow, guys. Am I generated over here? I am. Holy crap. I'm sitting over here. I did this last week, too. I'm sitting over here trying to fix the freaking thing, and it's not doing it. I'm looking like a dum-dum. Okay. If I do you uh, and then I say project from view bounds, should work. Yeah, gets me better results anyways. Honestly, uh, let's see. We're gonna have to UV project all of these individually. Um, we can we we can do that though. So you and then we just do project from view bounds. Or uh, you uh, cube projection. In a way, cube projection almost should work on that as well. Select everything here. Cube projection. My alt button not working anymore. What the heck is going on here? Q projection. Q projection. Should be good. I'm almost there. I got to do the bottom of this guy because we can actually see it. Okay, so that is that. Um, let's select this here. Just say you Q projection. Okay, now it fixes that. What a nightmare of freaking UV unwrapping, dude. Like, what a nightmare. Like, can I not auto do this with the AI systems? Come on, man. I'm just like, who, who the blender gods out there? Please hear me out, okay? Let's 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 do it. Let's just make AI like take care of UV for us. We don't need that. I, I don't need that. Just gonna add normal maps to this as well, and then we'll add that to like a five. Let's view our texture as we're working on it, so that way we actually know what we're doing. Um, okay, so that's honestly 
Not bad. Did I miss windows? I did miss windows. You know what? We're gonna add those windows right goddamn now, okay? Uh, actually, you know guys, I'm surprised. It actually doesn't look half bad. <laughs> Already, I mean, once we add the bushes and stuff in, it's gonna look way better. I'm, you know, every time it's you get a little closer. Okay, so uh, we just need to add in oh that pesky walkway too. Holy cow! I missed that whole section. Okay, we're going back over here. We're gonna do 3D viewport. Um, just gonna add in our walkway. If I add in the plane, that should work. Let's go do that, man. That should be fine. Let's just extrude that down, I think. Oh, whoops. Um, we're gonna just to keep the faces in the same orientation, just duplicate this. What a top view. We're gonna scale that down as well. I know there's a way to do this, but like the whole normals orientation, I do wish there was a way to spawn new objects in, but using that normal orientation, because the amount of times I have to like just like duplicate a face to do this whole thing is kind of whack. Save that. I'm just gonna. Oh, how it? How does that look? Uh, okay. Not really connected. What we're gonna do here though is we're gonna duplicate this. Whoops. Delete the whole thing. Just duplicate the leg. Scale Z axis. Now, if we rotate, should be able to get everything we need. And why there's a fence right where people are walking, that's not my problem. I didn't design the house, okay? Somebody else did. Just adding in some stairs. I think honestly though, so if we just extrude that out, that'll give us like a nice like footpath. But again, I, I didn't design this. Kind of following this path down. I think like may have to adjust as I'm going, but something like that. Oh, that's gone already. Great. Awesome. Okay, so we got some stairs, boys. We got some stairs. We may have wanted to make them a little smaller. It's not my fault. I mean, it kind of is, but like, oh. I'm going to change this to, uh, we're going to scale this by individual origins. So that way I don't have to worry about that we're just gonna make everything a lot thinner and then the same with this if we just grab our pipe and then just move that kind of up that'll make everything a lot smaller just make it a little more manageable and um uh, 
Yeah, just duplicate that upwards. I think also, I'm just going to extrude upwards. Just swap over to wireframe real quick and then delete these vertices. I probably shouldn't have add extended those. Just have like that and, and we have this face here, we'll just extrude that all the way up, wherever that goes. And finally, an edge loop just to go to there. Zoom in, where am I at? Oh, and we'll select this face here and extrude that into the wall. There we go. There we go. We got walkway. I'm going to, for sake of this, let's uh, add some shrubs in. We got some shrubs. Some like random shrubs. Do we got like any like? Do that. Is that like a flower or is that like snow? Just add in a few more random plants. Cause who knew? Uh, uh, the uh, under, whoa, where'd that guy go? Under uh, walkways, you know, they just they they, they just they get, they create bushes and all sorts of stuff over there. I think maybe not completely under there, but we could we could deal with it there. We'll wait, to, uh, take away too much from it. And then finally, we'll just do this. Go down. Okay. Um, next up, we just have like a window. Did I go? Yeah, this was square the whole time. That's, that's whack, guys. I just, I did that. <laughs> Yeah, we didn't need we didn't need to do that. Uh, let's go up here. We're just again we're just uh, scaling that down. We're just gonna create ourselves like a more of a curve. And then one more extrusion up. This is the same concept that we did earlier, where we're just like kind of creating the negative space of like what that window is going to look like. So um, we select everything here. Should be able to scale that up just vertically. Um, we do a. Do they don't have a subdivide smooth anymore. That's wild. We do that here though, just a subdivision service. to the top here. We're just gonna line this up with uh, the outside window actually. Just 
This should be fine. How high up are we going with this? And we do this. Now we're just selecting a Boolean. Our cube again. say difference on this. Uh, if we select everything and just like subdivide a bunch of times, might make it a little bit easier. Just apply that. Did that screw with our um, UVs though? I don't think it would. No. That worked well. And you know what? It might be good that we added it now because otherwise we would have had a whole problem with the UVs in the first place. I don't want to have to deal with problems, guys. Problems are annoying. Uh, let's see, Alt-H. What do we have here? Let's have another like round walkway. So I'm just gonna take this guy, move him over to our doorway area. think and then yeah we'll just add another boolean in here and select uh, our cube again just apply that it should just be fine yeah we just got our entrance it's like if you take these faces on the inside here I'm just gonna delete them then it kind of, oh, whoops. I'm gonna say faces only, only faces. But then that, like, basically darkens the entrance. It doesn't make it feel like it just, there's a wall right there. Because otherwise the lighting's just gonna bounce right off of it. Okay. Um, where are we at with this? Uh, the only other things that we have left is, like, this right here and the fence post. So, if I go into our fences, should literally just be able to darken them. Um, I don't think we really need to do any uh, that much more to it. We might make the metallic. Let's go into our shader editor here. Increase the metallic of it. And then we will just create a noise texture. I mean, we could test to see what that's going to look like. It's either a noise section. We could also just use Musgrave. I always just use Musgrave. It's just like a kind of like a random, like looking texture ability thing. Uh, we could just take that, and then we have our shader here. Just duplicate it and we're not using that um, we're gonna use a mix shader here if we just do mix shader add that on and then connect that to the height this will allow us to have different shaders for the different parts of the uh, the fence so I'm just gonna do that and then kind of just make it a little green this will give us like some free noise, basically. Let's just view our thing we got going on here. Okay, great. Let's swap that because I do want the brown to be the lesser of the colors, but you really zoom in now though, you can see kind of like that brown texture on our stuff. Uh, might not want it to be quite as bright, so we'll just lessen that. And that just gives us some free 
uh, for some free noise. So uh, we'll do the same thing here. We'll just select fence. Oh, and I just realized probably should fix that. Uh, oops. Let's grab the uh, face here for this wall and it just extrude it all the way to the top. Safe and voila. That should work. Now we just gotta fix some vines on the side of here and maybe, that'll be kinda interested to do. Let's um, let's try this. Uh, I, I, you know, I know this isn't in the original photo, but am I not able to alt select these? What's going on here? Fine. I'll manually select it. I don't know why you're being so annoying. I just press Y, and then if I select a P selection, it'll just make it its own complete separate thing. Um, from here, I'm going to add in a new um, scatter. Let's look at some of the grass options here. It's decorative. Let's try that. I don't, I don't know. I'm not a fan of this decorative one. Uh, let's not, not for this anyways. Let's try European Meadow. That's cool. And now I'll just adjust the scale. Not sure. I almost want the um, I in a way like it, but I think it's just too green. I'm not sure if there's a way for me to fix that. kind of like it though he gives it kind of like that more like wooded like in the middle of nowhere type of vibe and i think that like works really well for this setting um i'm gonna just hit the save button here we're gonna add some more vines and stuff to this as well just so that it kind of goes up the side of this main area i think that'll work nicely if we go to um i'm gonna be using scatter select this guy uh, I'm gonna draw some vines I'm just gonna go up can we do that Gonna draw some vines up the side of this. Oh, that's super cool! It actually works, guys. Who knew that drawing vines worked? I'm a fan of this because this is actually like pretty artistic, rather than like a lot of Blender where it's like, oh yeah, you know. I love this. Oh, whoops. Oh, that's super cool. It just like goes up whatever side you put it on. That's crazy. Okay, uh, we're gonna turn off return. 
Um, kind of in a way, I would just want to select this cylinder that we have here, create a new particle system for vines, and just do these guys. And way freaking less. Like, it's like, that's insane, guys. Okay. Go down to 100, maybe. Like. Also, the cobble wall. I, I just want to keep my texture. It changed, like, the whole thing. I just want the texture. We'll do 20,000 uh, kind of vines here. Where's the scale at? Oh, here we go. Oh, I see. I see what's going on. I see what's happening here. Nope. Which is not quite what I want. I like this whole drawing thing. I think it's pretty cool. Um, I'm just gonna do a few more of these. Just to kind of give it that vibe that we're going for. save that and we're gonna just return we're done is this using like grease pencil in a way to like create the uh, vines it's like a pretty pretty cool method I'm not gonna lie okay we're gonna go back into oh yeah it's kind of doing a grease pencil thing Drawing vines on everything now. Holy crap. I think this is such a cool way of, like, uh, you know, creating some, like, kind of, like, uh, more photorealism, like, a different way of, like, breaking up a texture. Because, like, oftentimes, things can start to look very CG. Okay, great. That works for me. Hit the save button and uh, let's see what we're dealing with here. Are we really missing any like big things here? Right, oh, I guess we got the bushes that we're missing out on. Um, let's return. Let's select this. And one by one, turn on all of our grass again. And then we're just gonna add in some bushes. About right there. Now do I have uh, bushes that are like fall kind of? I don't think so. 
I may need to, uh, so that's shrubs. Do I have, uh, saplings, rocks, plants? Sigidus. I guess I could, I guess I could use these. D viewport over here so that way I can just work with it. Um, get this where I need it. Just duplicate. We're just kind of creating some bushes here. Duplicate and rotate. That's basically the name of the game here. All right, save button. Um, okay, that should work. Um, honestly, I hit the render button here. We can maybe do, uh, I guess some final touch-ups, and then we'll do OpenEXR multi-layer here. I'm gonna render it to the correct folder. Well, I mean, I guess I'll be saving it here momentarily to the correct folder. I'm going to turn on crypto matting for the objects. I think that should work. Hit the save button. Uh, we're gonna hit the render button, and I'm gonna do this at low res. Last week, this is such a great idea by Alexander. Um, he recommended that I render everything out at like super low quality. I comp it with you guys live, and then um, I render out the full res as we're comping it. So let's go ahead and hit that and hit the render button there. What is this gonna look like? Uh, three. Realized throughout this entire stream, I basically didn't go back and forth. I, I just, oh, I hate it already. I'm already not a fan, guys. I think it's the mountain that I hate the most. Um, I hate all the bushes on the mountain. Oh yeah, we didn't add any clouds in. I also forgot this guy right here. Let's, let's stop this render, because this is just not gonna work for me. We're just gonna select this building back here. I'm just gonna delete that. If I select. I should just actually be able to duplicate this, right? I'm gonna move that down. Okay, that works for me. And then I really hate this mountain. Like, I'm not, like, what? What was that? Uh, could always change the, this in comp? Man, okay. Uh. The other thing is we could find uh, open VDB um, clouds. Can we do that? Who's got us uh, some clouds? Free VDB clouds, 3D art. Gumroad, you got me some clouds I can use? I want this. I just type in zero. I want it. Where's 
Where's the talent? Do I have to... I need to pull my quantity one, get it. Oh, okay. I'm not showing you guys my email. Not gonna do that. Not today. All right, hitting the download button now. There we go, it's downloading. Okay, great. Should have that inside of here somewhere. VFX materials, textures. B2B clouds, download link. 7Z, extract to, downloads. B2B clouds. Wait, what? So I actually have to download this as well? I'm gonna get a virus from this. I guess there's only one way to find out. One hit save. I also just realized you guys couldn't see my screen anyway, so it didn't really matter. <sighs> okay, that's getting downloaded. That's gonna take like five minutes. So, um, in the meantime, I'm going to fix this kind of like travesty of a mountain that we've got going on back here. Um, I think part of the problem is, is that I'm using this texture. I'm just going to delete that. We're going to create our own. And uh, we'll go to shader editor here. I'm also going to find a... Oh, did it finish already? Hell yeah. Uh, we're going to go back to Texture Haven. Textures. Um, let's see. We're going to find ourselves like a rocky mountain texture. We got something like that. Mossy rock. I like this the most, honestly. Ah, uh, no. Yeah, that's fine. This is gonna be great. This is exactly what we needed. Rock boulder drying. Okay. Go to textures here, and then we'll grab our diffuse, our displacement, our normals, and our roughness. Put that into render view. Plug that into roughness. I don't know where my displacement went. My normals into my normal. Yeah, add some mapping on here uh, and just plug this into my vectors so that way everything's kind of using the same thing and of course we'll add in our math node dealing with a little bit of lag here but it's gonna have to do Let's go view this. 
basically just need to ramp this guy up. What's going on here? I'm not seeing it at all. Um, let's do unwrap. There we go. And then we'll change this to a five. Works better. Okay, great. We'll drop that in there. Okay, everything's a little bright still, so we can go in and add in our RGB curves adjustment now, and then just kind of like bring that down a little bit. And then of course, we're gonna look at our roughness. Yeah, it should be fine. And then actually, let's make that much larger, it is further away. I'm not a fan of the patternization that's kind of happening here. We can fix that though by adding in a musgrave favorite texture guys or favorite type of coordinate thingy I'm just gonna shape it a little bit better something like that and if I take in another curves adjustment RGB curves um, Here's what we're gonna do. I'm actually gonna take everything here. Not everything, just this. Duplicate it, move it down. This is all gonna connect to my vector still. Oh, whoops. Uh, this texture did not get duplicated. Let's go ahead and duplicate that down, connect that to my UV mapping, and connect that to my color, which will go into that shader. Now, if I add in a mix shader node, and I connect both my shaders, and we're gonna displace display that but uh, use this mat here that we created as our mat now that will give us the ability to customize a little bit more There's like brighter areas there and then kind of everything else. Okay, perfect. I like that. Um, now with our VDB clouds that we brought in, let's add those into our scene. Do that pretty easily, actually. I'm just gonna say Shift A, and then we're gonna say it's and it's not mesh. It's volume import open VDB. The only thing we gotta make sure of is that we actually unzip them. VDB cloud pack. There we go. We got some VDBs. VDBs are volumetric, volumetric databases. So um, now I can just grab one of these. 
halt and crash my blender. Crash number two, boys! Okay, <laughs> let's go back in. Uh, file, I was just thinking, I was like, oh, I should probably, should probably save two minutes ago. Where were we at then? Hopefully I wasn't too far back. Oh, well, it's not terribly too far back. Um, let's see. We wanted to do that and that. Save. That works for me. And then, um, <clears throat> not in freaking uh, rendered view. We want to do it this. We want to do this. Um, we're going to go in here, shift A, and then import. Again, are we saved? Yeah. Shift A, import ourselves a volume, import open VDB. And then we'll find under VFX material, textures, VDB clouds, databases. Let's import the first one, and hopefully it doesn't crash. Yeah, we're good. We're chilling, brah. Just need to scale that guy up. We're just adding some clouds in now. Add another cloud in here. Let's see, uh, import volume, import open VDV. And we're gonna find that same folder, VDV database. Just import this one. And again, select that. Gonna rotate this around, kind of scale everything up. Actually, don't like that one. We're just gonna grab this one, duplicate it. Just want it from the top, kind of. Okay, we're almost there. We're gonna go to texture view now, and um, Edit these clouds because right now they are insanely dense. So we're gonna go to our shader editor, hit new. Um, we can get rid of principal that one. Uh, we just find a scatter node uh, is basically what we need. Um, we'll just plug that directly into our volume. What did I do? My clouds are all invisible now. I know we have to add a material. We not allowed to. Let me just change the density, I guess, to like 0.2. Z 
Same with this one over here, if I can. Let's change the density down and make it brighter. Okay, great. Um, if I take this now though, I can actually just duplicate it. We're just gonna fill the sky up a little bit. Because well, yes, we just need to add a little more Good. I still don't like the bushes, but we can always adjust those inside of our comp. Because um, I don't want to mess with the shaders in here. Uh, Botanics shader system is a little annoying to mess around with. Doesn't exactly give you a lot of options. Clouds are cool though. Okay, and then the last thing I kind of want to do with the mountains is uh, we're just going to add a cube in. We've done this on the last few uh, renders that we've done for the last few weeks. Just adding in a little bit of um, kind of like a, a volumetric background to it. So uh, let's see. Kind of gotta grab that, move that back. That's fine. Okay, great. Now we're just gonna create a new shader, call it fog, and this will be principal BS, uh, well, it's gonna be principled uh, volume. Just make sure that's plugged into the volume and not the surface. Hit the save. We're gonna change our density to like 0 0.01. We want it to be like really small. Oh, our mission. I don't know why it does this. Uh, it has done it uh, every time I click on that menu to add a principled volume. Okay, interesting. That's kind of getting there. It's got that gloomy vibe we were talking about earlier. hide that for right now 
And at the ridge point of here, I want to add a spotlight. And this spotlight, if we get it to track to our camera, now it's going to be pointing at our camera. Gonna move this back. And now, if we go to our light settings on this guy, just boost this. We're just gonna scale them all the way up. Go to uh, just that view right there. I just I need to be able to do this without my computer crashing. So we're gonna scale up our our. I need to go all the way to the ground over there. I don't want the radius to be that large, so we can actually just make the spot size uh, smaller. I want it to be very narrow. basically just pointing right at the camera from that distance and if we turn on render view now hoping to get you know a little bit more like light just coming directly through here so let's get that turned on save button Perfect. Now, actually, I might go more of like a blue. That way, it kind of like changes those clouds up a little bit. Also, might just completely stay out of color whatsoever because we're going to adjust that in comp. But the cool thing is now if I unhide my fog, it should give me like a bit of an interesting effect. I'm going to extend the fog though to go all the way through the house. So I'm going to just grab that and extend it on the Y axis all the way to here. I may need to lessen the density slightly. It's just a little too foggy, honestly. So we're gonna go into our shader editor for this guy and then lessen him to like a 0 0.001 or something. We can increase our entropy at anistropacy. Welcome back. We're just freaking around. What's the huge block for? Oh, it's our fog. So what I'm trying to do right now is add some atmosphere into the scene. Um, you can kind of see it caching over here on the small screen. It's like giving it kind of like this more like a, 
otherworldly vibe, you could say. Kind of like a, I don't know, like morning dew-ish type of thing. Thinking the density is still a little too high. I got like 2.5, let's try that. See what we get here. Also downing the anastropsy might help. This is the time where it's like iterations are really slow because it's it's difficult to really see what you're working with. I'm going to also select the camera here and change the f-stop to something like a 0.8. Don't need quite as much depth of field now. Okay, great. I'm going to, at this point, save. Hit the render button on the low res version, and then we can just kind of like watch that happen um, for a minute here. This, this render shouldn't take all that long uh, this is at 25% render, and uh, then we can do some compositing while we render out the full res version, um, which will take much, much longer to, to render out. So, uh, oh, it's saying 20 minutes on the low res version. Damn. I think it's all of the atmospheric stuff that we're doing on this that is going to make it take a long time to render. Um, I'm going to go grab some water, so I will be back here in a second, but uh, yeah. Now we're getting these beautiful god rays though. It's actually pretty cool uh, because of that fog that we added in. It's like, it's almost worth it to be able to um, add that fog in there. Kind of just gives it like this, like kind of creepy, but like also beautiful vibe. Um, really loving it. We also might want to do in the comp is kind of just like darken this area a little bit so that way it doesn't feel so much like a pattern of uh, grass. But we can fix all that stuff so I'm not too concerned. It's looking pretty good though, honestly. For uh, I'm I'm pretty pretty happy with how this turned out. You know, okay, Ben, I don't know if you're here or not, but um, I almost want to change the night that I do these live streams because it's just such a bummer that I have to miss out on Goose Goose Duck. Like, because uh, you guys all stop so freaking early because you're from the East Coast. I, I almost want to, like, just change the day that I'm streaming so that way you, or if you guys could change the day you guys play Goose Goose Duck, that might be the real thing. But um, I don't know about that. But uh, it, it, you know, I, I do wish, I do wish that I could play with you guys. Last week was pretty nice because you guys just stayed up all night. Um, and most of the time, my streams are only going to like 7:30, 8 o'clock. But this one, this one's going a little bit longer. I've been streaming for three hours now, I think. So. Okay. Wow. I really like this, guys. This was a good one this week. Um, let me get Nuke opening up here. We can just do some quick compositing. It should only take a few minutes because we honestly spent most of our time just making sure it looked good in the actual shot. Get to that momentarily. Uh, two more minutes or so. Yeah, it said 20 minutes, but it's, it's only down to like two minutes, so. This isn't bad.
those clouds really worked well too because they added like this nice little patchy likeness to the kind of the fog that we have here so um, I really kind of like that also I don't know that this really matches the creepy vibe maybe with some grading I can get it to do that but like uh, I actually think it looks nice uh, not creepy <laughs> So, I might have failed on that front. It's funny, because with all the fog and everything, you can't even tell that uh, that has like leaves on it. Warning to render grease pencil. Enable combined and Z passes. Oh no! Yeah, no, that looks like crap. Um, it's fine. We could disable that for the final render, but yeah, I, I don't like those vines anymore. I thought I liked it, but I don't. Okay, we're gonna go to oh no, VFX materials. Fine. Create a new folder here called output, um, and we'll call this VFX or, or temp. Today is 8 September 2023, version 1. Uh, don't know why I put an underscore there. We'll hit save. And I'm going to... You know what I'm going to do? Is while we're, we're doing that, it said to enable... What did that say? Enable combined and Z passes. Go over here, combined and Z passes. Great. And then I'm going to, just because, unfortunately, just not a huge fan of these vines, find them. They're probably over here inside of one of these. What are these? Grease. Can I uh, kind of just view only grease pencil stuff? Is that possible? Oh, there we go. Grease pencil. I'm going to disable you from the renders. Uh, and if I go view F11 again, how did... That was fine, but I'm just going to get rid of it altogether, honestly. Um, we're going to go over to our final thing, and we'll just output that to 100% now. And we'll just minimize this as that's rendering. I can start to work on the actual comp here. The fun part, guys. The fun part. And uh, yeah. So now we're going into the compositing stage of things. So we'll go to your 8 September and VFX material output. Select our render. And we're going to shuffle and select only combined. I'm just gonna have to ignore for right now everything. But uh, let's let's first fix this uh, by kind of doing this. I'm gonna try to 
some more contrast in. I bring the brightness slightly down. As we're viewing this, just uh, also might just go for another uh, grade node here to do a white point. that. I'm just going to add a glow in as well. Not this much of a glow, but uh, change our size, change our tolerance as well. It's always nice to add just a little bit of a glow. And then uh, ultimately, in the end of the day, we'll just probably do some grain as well. I'll reformat this, scale this by four or something like that. This should give us, yeah. Ultimately, the, the size we're gonna go with. Okay, great, and shuffle nose should be fine. Let's use a crypto mat now. Let's start doing a little bit more uh, specific stuff. So um, it's hard because I'm just so distracted with all these freaking lines that are here. It's so dumb. Um, Uh, let's do that and I'm bring everything down here. We're only going to grade that basically. Almost want that to be a little darker. add a dot here I guess it's the only way to uh, do that I'm just gonna bring that a little darker because I, I don't I don't want it to be too uh, in your face I think just bringing it down slightly would be nice um, I think also I just want to give some shape here so Let's, let's do that as well. We could do that easily with just a roto node. We don't need any crypto mats. We just do a roto node here. I'm just gonna select that area, add an edge blur, um, pre-multiply RGBA, and then only affect the grade area for that. So, boom, should be fine, 300. Or so, that should be good. Let's bring that down slightly. Yeah, let's just kind of like look, see what we're working with here. I know also it's like, um, initially I want it to have the grass be a little bit more like autumn looking. So we can also do that here as well. So why don't we just select select all of that should be fine. Um, I 
We're just gonna change the white point on that specifically. Something more a little like that. Almost like something like that. A little better. How much longer on this guy? Oh, it says two hours. Holy camoly. It's definitely not gonna be done on stream, so. Um, let's see, I kind of, you know, here's the thing, man. I, uh, Or even I think it's like we can go as dark as we really want to here increase our edge blur to something like 600 maybe 500 yeah it works for me so that really shapes that I don't want to darken the top of the image at all I like the general overall tone that we're getting here. Might even make it a little slightly more so. I think that's good right there. <sighs> Just, you know, trying to shape this together. I really hate these lines that are here. I'm, I'm really sorry, guys. I, like, I thought that was gonna look much, much better, but I should have been, I mean, we couldn't really tell until it was finished rendering, so. Um, you know, here's the other thing. Uh, we can add a grade note in. I kind of want one more crypto mat just to give some more shape to those like rooftops. Um, here's what I suggest. Let's go in here. We'll just select our this specific roof, which is the one that's giving me the biggest problem. Awesome. Um, now we're just gonna go into here and uh, we're gonna use that mask here. We we'll use a merge node and drop that in there. Perfect. basically just want to shape this a little bit better. Perfect edge blur. Just maximize that up a little bit. Should get us, oh, we have to multiply, pre-multiply that, RGBA that, cool. Okay, great. Should just get us the tip of the tip baby now you just grade that down slightly that gives us a little bit more of a shape on the roundness for our uh, rooftop there which I like that much better um, and that just makes it a little easier for us to use the crypto mat there instead of having to uh, you know do anything else so I think, I think, I'm just gonna end it there, guys. Um, 
I know the vines don't look good on the finished product here. We'll po be posting that onto my Instagram. Sometime this weekend, I think, uh, probably tomorrow. Um, and, uh, you know, if you guys like that, please uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, um, and like this video. Leave a comment in, like, the regular comment section or even here in the live, honestly, of what kind of photos you guys like to see next time. I'm, I'm starting to get into spooky season, so we're going to do some spooky stuff um, and uh, hopefully do some more, like, Halloween related stuff as well uh, with that. Um, let me know if, you, if there's any photos you guys like that you see on Instagram, send them my way. Uh, I'm at iConnorThomas on Instagram, as well as Twitter and Threads, which is, uh, you know, that other application. Um, and uh, yeah, but thanks for tuning in, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, this was a good time. This was a good time. We, uh, we got some good stuff done. Went a little bit longer than I was hoping for, but uh, it is what it is. I think uh, this photo turned out great. And I look forward to seeing you guys uh, next time. All right. You guys have a good Friday.